Hi guys. It is, you will not believe this, but it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I am talking an over-the-top beautiful day. Here in the collapse of everything going on around us uh, <coughs> at Bugs in a Jar Farm. It is a Monday morning. It is a Monday morning, August 14th, 2023. And there's a lot going on here uh, today and the rest of this week. So I just need to check in with you guys while I'm sitting here enjoying my uh, sunrise save the planet cup of uh, organic coffee on this gorgeous Monday morning. So anyway, uh, here at well, I haven't even opened the mainstream media news, guys. I have no clue what is happening on the rest of this planet. Uh, no clue. So, uh, I didn't, I just don't have the stomach to open the mainstream media on this beautiful day. At least till I have a cup of coffee. So instead, I'm just here, right here in the, shall we call it, the mailbag at Collapse Chronicles, reading some comments, some recent comments, and you know, one of the aspects of this channel that I really am proud of is the general, I, generally speaking, the IQ level of uh, people tuning into this channel. I, I had a couple of um, people that I interviewed comment that you seem to have a particularly intelligent group of people commenting on your channel and and i honestly think i do and so we're just going to share a couple of those comments we're gonna hear from two folks from two of our collapsed chronicle members tree frog I'm not sure Tree Frog is a fairly new, he's either, uh, well, I don't know what, I don't even know if Tree Frog is a, a guy, I'm 99% sure, for whatever reason, Tree Frog is a man, not that it makes any difference, I'm not sure how long Tree Frog has <coughs> been here, but uh, this is a mashup of two of his comments uh, today take it away tree frog what's on your mind these comments just came in these are brand new comments the ubiquitous denialism that pervades all of humanity reminds me of children hiding under their blankets pretending that their concealment will protect them from the boogeyman if you refuse to see it, then the danger is not there. I don't know how so many people are capable of pigeonholing the deteriorated state of both the earth itself and society in general while blithely going on about their business, having children, and making merry I sincerely envy them. I cannot do it. I feel like a deer caught in the headlights of an oncoming car. Ironically, my one comfort is that I am an old man with almost no family. I have much less to care about than most, yet my heart bleeds for everything else. When I consider what Homo sapiens might have been and compare it to what we have become, I weep. Thank you, Tree Frog, for that insight, that Monday morning insight. And we're going to go from Tree Frog over to uh, Mr. Patty, 
who I'm pretty sure is a brand new subscriber. So this is what Mr. Patty uh, has to say about the state of the planet and doomers and, and the rest of it. So let's hear from a new voice here at Collapse Chronicles. <clears throat> Take it away, Mr. Patty. There is a direct relationship between the extent to which one is informed on issues pertaining to humanity's overshoot of our planetary boundaries and the extent to which one is prone to pessimism about the future. Unfortunately, climate change is only one of many aspects of this overshoot. Others include soil degradation, collapse of insect numbers, collapse of fish stocks, severe pollution of land, sea, and air, poor management of fresh water, habitat loss, mass extinction of wild species, increasing pandemic vulnerability, worrying population projections, proliferation of PFAs and microplastics, decreasing mineral and fertilizer availability, etc. And it is this combination of all of these impacts together with our quite severe global economic and energy related challenges that have led the well-informed to their somewhat bleak outlook. <clears throat> well, take it by eyes away and anyway. And that is before you even consider the tense geopolitical landscape and the impact of rapidly developing use of AI in all aspects of our lives. Even climate scientists can be prone to myopia on the big picture issues. They are used to viewing the world through a narrow lens, and this can impede their ability to see the bigger picture. A climate scientist might, for example, suggest that we have decades before the worst climate impacts are witnessed, which may be true according to some models. But this belies the fact that the climate is only one of a myriad of issues that threaten our way of life. I find that systems experts and those from more generalized academic disciplines tend to be the ones who see things most clearly as they seem adept at joining the dots in the way that is necessary to truly understand the perilous state of our predicament. <clears throat> and I would like to think journalists, I would like to think that journalists are somewhere in that group. They used to be anyway. <clears throat> there have been a huge number of scientific articles and reports in recent years that have highlighted the extent to which the latest data is puzzling scientists. What was thought to have been a slow process is, in fact, racing away from us at breakneck speed. I, for one, expect that trend to continue and even accelerate, and I see no value in clinging to the huh, and clinging to the huh, and clinging to the huh hope that our hitherto ineffective governments will suddenly <coughs> see sense 
untether themselves from fossil fuel interest and act rapidly and purposefully on this issue. Let us face it, that is simply not going to happen. Rather, the methods that have been used so effectively to date, misinformation, the systematic undermining of science and scientists, the use of funds to buy political influence, etc., will be ramped up and will result in further political inertia until we finally enter a collapse phase. As for doomers, they, or we, are simply people who have read widely, understand and recognize the severity of these complex and multifarious challenges and refuse to countenance denial as a means of dealing with our predicament. <laughs> there you go. Uh, one of the most spot-on uh, summations of uh, everything that I have been saying for how many years, summed up in one comment. So anyways, uh, now I guess I will have to suffer the indignity of the mainstream media. Get out there and enjoy your own predicament. Well, you still can. Bye, guys.